Here are my thoughts and takeaways from the NFL playoff divisional round. I said in my predictions video that I thought the Colts and Chiefs game was going to be a shootout, but I was totally wrong. There was only one passing touchdown the entire game. Outside of the touchdown to T.Y. Hilton, Andrew Luck and the Colts offense just didn't show up the way I wanted them to. I also didn't expect to see kicker Adam Vinatieri basically repeat what Cody Parkey of the Bears did against the Eagles. Although Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes had only 278 yards passing, the thing that stood out to me the most was Kansas City's running game. They had four different players on their offense score four rushing touchdowns. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't completely sold on the Chiefs due to Andy Reid's history of really good regular season teams and underperforming in the playoffs. So now, I'm really interested in seeing how the AFC Championship will play out. The Rams rushing attack was alive and well. Both Todd Gurley and CJ Anderson of the Rams had over 100 yards rushing and combined for three touchdowns. The Rams as a team rushed for 273 yards. I knew their rushing was going to have an impact, but wow, I didn't expect it to be that big. The Rams defense completely shut down Ezekiel Elliott outside of the one touchdown that he had on the goal line. This win gives Rams quarterback Jared Goff his first career playoff win. This was a big game for both teams, but this was a much bigger game for Chargers quarterback Phillip Rivers. He has never beat Brady in his career. I believe that this was the last time he'll have a good shot of getting to the Super Bowl. This was probably Antonio Gates' last game as a Charger as well. As for the Patriots, this will mark the eighth year in a row where they'll be in the AFC Championship. Everybody on the Patriots showed up to play. They're used to situations like this. Julian Edelman and James White of the Patriots both had big games. Julian Edelman moved into second place for most postseason receptions in NFL history, while James White tied Darren Sproles for most receptions in a playoff game with 15. Next week, the Patriots will be going to Arrowhead for a rematch against the Chiefs. That should be pretty fun to watch. The Eagles and Saints game, for the most part, went exactly the way I thought it would. I was shocked to see the Eagles up 14-0 in the beginning, though. Wide receiver Michael Thomas of the Saints came up big with 12 catches for 171 yards and a touchdown to win 20-14 over the Eagles. The Eagles were on a game-winning drive until the ball went right through Alshon Jeffrey's hands into Marshawn Lattimore for a game-sealing interception. I really felt bad for Alshon Jeffrey and the Eagles when that play happened live. Philadelphia's luck finally ran out. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, like the video. If you like me, subscribe.